Dear friends in Christ, today we celebrate the first coming of non-Jews to the feet of Jesus. The Magi, good, holy, and wise men sought the truth, came from the East. Their profession was to watch the heavens and interpret any unusual signs. A brilliant star signaled to them that a king was born. Jesus came to a world that longed for God and awaited him. Yet when he came, not the chosen people, but wise men from far came to pay him homage. At the birth of Jesus, different kinds of people reacted in different ways. First, hostility, as in crafty Herod, who tried all he could to destroy Jesus, even through hypocritical devotion and false piety. The tiny and helpless baby terrified him, and his only intent was to get rid of the baby. Just as Pharaoh tried to eliminate Moses, so Herod tried to eliminate Jesus, the new Moses. And are there not people today who try to get rid of Jesus because he is inconvenient to them as he questions their life and challenges them to change? The genuine Christian is committed to do not what he likes, but what Jesus asks. Second, total indifference, as in the chief priests, the scribes, who were lost in temple rituals and legal questions and had no interest in Jesus. In our times too, many are immersed in external observances or worldly affairs, and Jesus means nothing to them. Third, adoring and worshipping, like the wise men. Those who understand Jesus as God's gift of love cannot but praise and worship Him. Fortunately, there are such people also among us. Those who believe in Christ are not always those who carry a religious label. Pagans enter joyfully into the life of Jesus from the beginning and worship Him, while Herod the Jew is scheming to put Jesus to death. Those who meet the Messiah rejoice, making him king of all their lives and offer him their most precious gifts, as the Magi did. The salvation prepared for the entire world is welcomed first by the pagans. The scribes have the scriptures, but not the goodness to go and meet the Messiah. The Magi do not have the scriptures, but believe, set out, seek, and find. They represent those who walk in faith and desire the vision. The faith of the Magi is a search and an effort to overcome whatever hinders them on their way to God. And having met the Messiah, they go back by another way. To change way is to change life. Each one of us, therefore, who have really met Christ is called to review our life and change our ways. The Magi fulfill a theological function. They acknowledge and confirm the unique dignity of the newborn king. Though pagans and ignorant of the Old Testament revelation, they recognize the Messiah and are not scandalized by the poverty surrounding his birth. In contrast, the experts of the law and the scriptures fail to recognize him. This contrast goes on throughout the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus is rejected by the people of God and accepted by the Gentiles. That means, in front of God, all ethnic barriers are broken and salvation is offered universally to all without distinction. There is also half-hearted response, as in the case of many who recognize Jesus as a good man but had no depth of faith or seriousness in responding to him. I am afraid many among those who claim to be Christians are like them, not treasuring his teachings or obeying him, but only using his name as a trademark. What is our reaction to Jesus? Do we give him full and wholehearted response in our daily lives? Are we perhaps indifferent to him or hostile to him? Let us resolve today to follow wise men to Bethlehem to worship the Lord and offer him our best, that is, a life of faithful love and service. We shall surely return home 
wiser and better persons. God bless you. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.